Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Got another flip through um, of a, another lace journal. And um, I'm going to be doing a process video of how to make these lace covers. And they are many layers and they're a soft journal. I did a flip through of the white lace uh, already. Neither one is listed in my Etsy shop yet. And today is Friday. I actually filmed this last Saturday, if you can believe it. Uh, but I came in and I did a process video of a different, this beautiful journal cover, and I lost it. It's gone, and I'm so frustrated. I went through the whole thing, so I'm gonna have to redo that, and that's in my journal cover series, and this, one of these will be in my journal cover series as well. But in the meantime, I have finished up these two, and I'm working on that one. So we're gonna do a flip through of this um, journal, and these are soft uh, cover journals with layers of fabric and uh, uh, doilies and laces and old laces and new laces and lots of goodies. So um, I'm going to just show you the front here and then I'm gonna open it up so you can see it from the whole thing. So the whole cover. Uh, on it, as I told you, there are layers of this beautiful um, old doily. Under that is a canvas, actually, a duck cloth, actually, um, fabric in a beigey color. And then there's several different layers of types of lace. So you can see one down here on the bottom, one here, then this applique lace here and golds and creams and under that you can just see a little rosebuds peeking out or a little flowers because there's some of that color throughout the book. And then here I have a fabric uh, muslin rib ribbon and then silk or satin um, bows that I put together here with some pearls and some soft eyelash trim dangling from it in this beautiful uh, button here. It's like uh, two pearls, some bling, and an enameled flower with a little bling in the middle. So that's uh, on that cover. Then um, here's the back. The back is just the, another beautiful applique piece of lace. And then of course all the layers. Now let me open it up. I have it tied with an elastic uh, lace um, ribbon. So this stretches, so you it's, I mean, it, it's, th these two, last two journals I made, I wanted to show you this cover in all its yumminess. I just love it. I love both of these, and these are the first uh, lace cover, you know, full lace cover uh, journals I've done. Uh, these, both these journals are completely full, full, full of tons of trims and laces and all kinds of stuff. So uh, they were really kind of like, ah, I hear the labor of love, and I've got to say they were a labor of love because they've taken me some time. Uh, I've got some muslin fabric on the inside as well, and then there's this uh, beautiful crochet uh, trim making a pocket here as we go in and it's so full that I'm gonna kind of go quickly so you can see it um, this has been done with grant I did used a kit and then some um, other paper die cut with a view papers of my own uh, it's called grandma's uh, attic and it's by um, paper Jeez, I just pulled that up the other day too because I missed it with the last one. My Porch P Prince, I believe. Oh my goodness, I might be wrong. I, it will be in the description. I always link the kit in the description to, to where you can purchase it on Etsy. So um, there's a, I did do some um, more little um, stencil or uh, stamping on that postcard. And uh, these are both from the kit. And I made a little booklet here. Where it looks very vintagey and old and shabby and good. And there's a bunch of beautiful little offcuts in here of all that good, the good papers I used in the book. 
Okay, uh, in this belly band, there's a belly band here, and it's got a little, um, excuse my thumb, guys, by the way, I cut my thumb on the project that I was filming today, and I'll tell you about that when I go make it again. This actually is Velcroed down here, and you can, this is a tuck spot here, and then the tuck spot here, and in this area, I have tucked a envelope, that came that made was from the kit added my own stamp and some postmarks and things added a wax seal here with the rose with some um uh eyelash trim and then i sewed um oh, what do you call it baking paper all on the inside and then glued it here actually that one's coming up did i glue that i might not oh i only glued one side well, it might be smart to glue the other side. And then, um, so that's just tucked in here. And then I just, uh, so you can store things in there, photos in there, whatever. Plus it makes that nice crinkly sound. And then this pretty uh, card stock here, nice heavyweight card stock. All right, we've got some, um, all bunch of trims down here. Uh, this is a little um, off cut of a, a paper, silk. Or satin ribbon and then um, this applique ribbon and in this pocket got like a shabby looking postcard here did a little stamping there so that's this is all heavyweight photo paper some of it's been backed double backed on um, other paper and there's another postcard there those were both from the kit this paper as well uh, all the papers in here, except for the cardstock papers and my coffee stain papers, were from that kit. Uh, we've got some pretty interests up here with uh, uh, Sari Silk, that beautiful color, that dusty, rosy, peachy, and it's got shades of pink in it. Uh, applique here and some cheesecloth. Uh, I've got a fabric, uh, a fabric here that's been sewn into the spine. I thought it went well, it was in my stash. And then I stamped on some muslin here with the postmark type stamping and did a, ri a ribbon um, trim. I've got a little uh, pocket here. Everything's been sewn, everything's been inked. I did do put a lot of work into this. So we have three pieces of ephemera here. This one's from the kit and this one, and this one was from uh, a paper line of mine. Got some seam binding there, some trim here. As you can see, I made tabs with different appliques and laces, and that comes off the edge, just like I did with this one, but this one, actually I've trimmed, I did bigger tabs all the way through, so. Lots of lace. So if you all ladies all love lace, uh, this might be these might one of these might be the book for you. Got some ledger paper that's been coffee dyed and stenciled. Printed vellum. Card. A uh, little tag pocket here. Some pretty trim up here. Lots of gorgeous trims and appliques. I just have a card, I'm not going to take it off, a, in the, a, that I had left over and I just clipped it with a Tim Holtz mini clip to the top of this parchment um, writing paper that's been stenciled with like a rose stencil. Got some trims up here, sari silk and crocheted floral trim. This is one of the papers from the kit, some um, my coffee dyed paper. I've got my bags. I like to put these in almost all my journals so you all have plenty of room to store. A little bit of scrappy trim there. And then I've got a uh, journaling card with a tab in here. A square doily. Got a little pocket here. And some more trim up here. Just pieced on there. This lace paper came from, I believe, Leanna Scraps. Um, it was a, it's like one of those mini kit or just some papers, lace papers. And I got it because I, I did it. I put it in that one and I put it in, put it in this as well because they were both lace. So I thought it went well. But this image here is from the kit. And then these are pieces from the kit that I cut out and sewed around and backed and 
did all that stuff. And we've got some satin ribbon. Okay, this is the middle of a signature. Uh, it's not as complex as it looks. It's actually just two craft bags that I've sewn in, uh, or that I've put on the pages. But So you have room for tucking and storing in here, and I just did some stenciling. But I also made a pocket in it, and there's a pocket behind here. So um, right here, pocket. There's two tags I made from the kit. I just added some stuff on it. So there's a pocket here, you know, place there, a tuck spot here, uh, two more tags tucked in there. And then in this side, I did tuck something and there's a little rosebud um, applique there and a tab on this paper. It's all roses, thought that was pretty. Okay, we've got some a tab trim here. There's actually two pieces here, and then this little writing lined journaling index type card from the kit. And these two, I liked this because on this page, ooh, where is it? This page she had the old keys. Aren't they cool? They're French, French themed key like keys because it says French. So. And then on this side were the locks. So I did a little, a little belly, mini belly band there. And the doily bag, coffee dyed paper. Some of her paper from the kit with some trims. Uh, did some, a little bit of stenciling on that parchment paper. Uh, plenty of room to write but still a lot of trims and things in it. So just for interest and to, um, you know, get your, um, it just it, to inspire you, you know, this is just to me inspiring when you have, you know, some interest on the pages. Okay, we've got a, um, see this side you can write on, and this is high quality photo paper in here. Um, and on the edge, you can see there's a tab with this beautiful, beautiful trim. And then I used it again on the top of this large tag that I made out of a piece from the kit. And then this was also, and then I, I kind of grungied it up, inked it up a little bit more. There's some more fabric. Okay, in this pocket, it's got the trims and all that down here. And then, um, see, I did a scalloped scissors, and then I did the opposite way here. So I thought that was kind of a cool effect. This Velcro's, I believe, right? Yep, whoops, came off. Got to glue it back on. It's supposed to Velcro. And this, again, this little coin envelope, I lined with that paper. So it gives that nice sound, but it also looks very old and vintage-y. So and here's a card from the kit. Let me put that that way. So I remember to come back and glue that Velcro side down a little bit more. Okay, this little thingy here just, this is just t unties here. This is Velcroed, and then this comes down for writing. So it's like a secret journaling place. Did I? Yeah, I was thinking if I, yeah, I did. It's sewed down too. So that just back up there, and then you just tie it back together after you write your little notes. So I thought that was kind of fun. And um, I saw that in another book somewhere. I'm trying to think. Mm, it'll come to me, hopefully. And then here we've got, I think this Velcro's. Yeah, this Velcro's again. And there again, this second little area makes for another tuck spot. Okay, so then this, this is a little booklet I made um, from part of the kit and I've got some trim here and an applique here and then in it I did some rice paper handmade rice paper and that's so pretty I love that and then some stenciling so that's in there uh, I've got some pretty pom-pom peachy pom-pom trim here on some 
uh, cardstock and then a cardstock pocket and then a large tag here with some satin uh, trim at the top got a tag pocket here and then you can see more um, fabrics that's been stamped muslin and then some more of that uh, crochet type trim nice heavyweight journaling cards throughout very substantial I've got this old from the 1800s uh, Lucille the book Lucille and I uh, because it's so fragile and so old I did do a wash of gesso over it but you can still read the poem through it so it's a book of love poems that I think had been written to Lucille um, up here we've got a tab at the top with some uh, lace and some satin and some some crochet trim and this is a little pocket here whoops I might leave that string uh, sometimes I, t I, I leave the string sometimes I cut them off it depends on the mood I'm in um, and if you get one of my books and you don't want the strings and they're there just snip them off plenty of room to write uh, paper from Sharon Vandergroff's shop uh, see the daisies on it she does coffee dyed paper I hope it's still in there I'll link her uh, I love that paper um, and then a journaling card here and like a little pocket but you can also journal on that pocket this beautiful paper was from the kit isn't it gorgeous and I just so happened to have this lace that just went lent so beautifully to the paper it's like it was made for it so i put that on the edge this is just an envelope that i made pockets with and i left it the left it plain so you could post put pictures on it or write on it and on this side uh i did do some scrap trims and then i made two pockets out of it so here's one actually it's two envelopes together and i did a pockety thing on both of them and then we've just got some pieces of ephemera in there for journaling on uh, another card that I made from the kit and then this paper as well and then this pretty um, applique type lace as a tab on the end here rice paper uh, baking paper got a little pocket here with a, one of the tags from the kit or journaling cards and then I just um, ripped a piece of the part of the paper and made like a um, vintage looking letter here uh, I've got some pretty trim here on the edge of this page this this is cardstock. This is from the kit on photo paper. In the inside of this uh, pocket here, or the middle, I should say, of the signature, I've got some cheesecloth. Two of the little uh, ephemera pieces from the kit that I made little pockets out of, and then I've got a tag there and a tag there with um, some eyelash trim, and then I I made two large large journaling tags and then did some crocheted trim at the top and there's a metal grommet on each and that's there's one in each pocket uh, this has some more trim on it I like the scallopy trim the baking paper the handmade rice paper you can see some of the leaves and you know, greenery in it. This is all paper from the kit I printed. Uh, I made a little pocket up here, this cute image from the, from the kit, and then down here, uh, some more tabs. A lot of lace, a lot of appliques. Got two tags tucked in there. Um, this is the other part of that envelope and I just folded back the end and made just a teeniest of tuck spots there and put this little teeny tag in it that's got these sweet little I love that a color um, satin ribbon and then I have just got a journaling card in here 
And on this side, I made a pocket. And in the pocket, I did add, whoops, two of the pieces from the kit to the items. Um, and here we've got another kind of just tore it and then uh, sewed it on, made a pocket up in the, a tuck spot up in the corner here, and then two more uh, places to journal. And these were both from that uh, kit. And then some more of that beautiful lay, uh, trim, because it, it just love it with that paper. Coffee dyed paper. This is the back side of the lace. See that, that's white lace on this paper. And then all of this pretty stuff up here. I've got a little, uh, it's got a little pearl in the middle. It's like a little floral uh, applique. And then one of these, um, one of the pieces from the kit that I just made a little pocket with. And then we've got a tag and a journaling card there. Uh, lose that book Lucille again uh, another paper we're getting to the end and then some trim up here some more um, pom-pom trim and cardstock and actually this is I just noticed this could be yeah this is a little tuck spot so you could put a little ticket up there or something or tuck a little note in there and then up here we've got a pretty large tag with a ball pin and a crystal and then um, some trim at the top for the tab and then I've got a belly band this is the last page with this large postcard that's a card stock it's a tight fit there we go. And then in the back pocket, I have an envelope. Well, it's not an envelope. I think I, I just folded it. We got a pocket here, and I think I just folded this. Yeah, I just folded it to look like an envelope. So that's in the back pocket. So that's this one, guys. So thanks for watching, and these will be in my shop tomorrow, both of these lace, these lacy lovelies. <laughs> and I'm going to do a video on the journal cover. One or the other. Don't know which one yet. Or a mixture, maybe. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.